Hello, I am Jock Reed, Developer Evangelist with Cisco DevNet. In this video, I am going to show some of the functionality of Cisco Fog Director by deploying a Docker container to two IOX devices. I will be using a virtual lab environment provided by DevNet Sandbox. You will need to be signed up for DevNet to follow along. If you are not, I have provided links below that will help you follow this video. So let's get started. We will first navigate to the reservation portal for the IOX Sandbox and reserve a lab. The first thing you will see will be the lab instructions on the left and the topology of the lab on the right. You will use the instructions pane to provide useful information for accessing lab components and accessing the private network through VPN. So let's start the reservation process by pressing the blue reservation button in the top right of the screen. When the reservation window pops up, we can edit the name of the lab and even change the length of time of the reservation. When you reserve the lab, you will receive email confirmation once your lab is ready, as well as access credentials. After your reservation is complete, your reservation portal will look slightly different than the original topology. Your topology will contain the IP addresses for accessing Fog Director and accessing the virtual IOX devices. The first thing we need to do to access our private lab network is connect through VPN. On the VPN tab of the instruction pane in our reservation portal, you will find instructions for accessing the private network. If you are at a Learning Lab computer at a Cisco event, the software VPN client will be provided on the computer that you are on. The next thing we need to do is get logged into Fog Director. We will grab the IP addresses from the topology and use the access information and credentials provided in the IOX Overview tab. Here we will enter the credentials for the Fog Director. If you would like to change the password, you can do so here. However, we will continue with the standard credentials. Once you are logged in, you will find yourself in the App Store. However, before we deploy an application, we will need to add the IOX devices to Fog Director using the credentials provided in the Sandbox instructions. On the Devices tab, click the Add button and enter in the IP address and credentials for the virtual IOX devices. Now let's navigate back to the App Store and deploy our first Docker application to both IOX devices. Before we upload the application, we will need to download a YAML file from GitHub. The YAML file is what defines the environment of the Docker container inside of IOX. First, we will navigate to the Cisco DevNet IOX Python web repo. From there, you can download the zip file or clone from GitHub, depending on your current comfort level with Git. Once we have the file we need, we can navigate back to Fog Director. We will click on Add New App and Create from Docker Image. There is a pre-built image in the Docker Hub repo. We will type in the repo name Cisco DevNet forward slash IOX Docker Python Web. And enter latest for the tag. The other parts of the form do not need to be filled out. By default, it pulls from the public Docker Hub and we are not accessing a private repo. Next, we will add in the package.yaml file we got from GitHub. From here, we will click Submit, and Fog Director will load the Docker container image and YAML file. After it is done loading the file onto Fog Director, 
you will be brought to the application page of the image we loaded. You can publish the app from here, but we will do this from the App Store. From here, we will publish the app, which will make it available to be deployed to any iOX devices connected to Fog Director. We will click the up arrow just below the app icon to publish the app. We will then enter the application page to start deploying the app to our devices. Click install to start the deployment process. Select both iOX devices, add them, and then click next. From here, you can modify parts of the configuration set by the YAML file, but we are going to stick to the original configuration for now. The loading of the application to the iOX devices will take a few minutes. For brevity, I will speed through this part. Once the applications are successfully loaded onto the iOX devices, we can check to see if the applications are functioning correctly. Let's navigate back to the Devices tab and select a device. On the Device page, we will scroll down to the App Details section to find out where to access our Python web application. If we hover over the IP address, we can find out the external IP, and then we can find out the port mapping. So the external IP was 10.10.10.128, and the port was 40,001. And we will use that to access our web application. Once we see that we have a successful request, we can then move on to the next iOX device and see if it is working as well. You have now deployed a Docker application to two iOX nodes using Fog Director. Please come visit us at developer.cisco.com to learn more about iOX, Fog Director, IoT, and edge computing. I hope you enjoyed your experience. Thank you.